shift uh, in differentiating uh, the service versus hospitality, and uh, you know, service just being steps of service, and then hospitality being how you actually make people feel. Um, and if you ever see Gary interact with the guests at the bar, it's uh, it's it's pretty magical. I mean, he locks in, they leave thinking that their best friends. They usually typically leave with his phone number, you know. Um, and you know what was cool about meeting uh, Freddie Johnson at Buffalo Trace. You know, obviously, like he's a uh, star-studded, you know, tour guide. Not everybody gets uh, gets to have him and gets the, the full full tour de grande that we got. Um, but I remember when we were downstairs uh, in the distillery. You know, Gary asked me to tell the story about his dad, his brother, and uh, it brought a lot of the staff to tears. You know, I think it just really kind of, you know, is emblematic of we need to enjoy the time that we have because we don't know how much time we're going to have with the people that we love. Last fall, my, my dad and I drank together. We are pouring a drink, and I go to put the stopper back in the bottle, and my father looks at me and says, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> and I said, Dad, I said, I'm trying to save it. I said, this is a really good bourbon. He says, I'm fully aware of that. It's it's one of the uh, it's from one of the last barrels of government I handled at Buffalo Trace Distillery. It was a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle. Okay. And so that's the link that Julian has with my family is, is that my dad handled the Van Winkle barrels when they came in here because Julian thought about them the way he, because of what he knew. So I said, Well, I'm trying to save it. And he says, Well, he says, don't ever do that again. <laughs> and I looked at him and said, Big part. He said, when you walk around the distillery, it becomes obvious that there will always be old barrels and bottles of whiskey. So just think about where you've been and all these old barrels and all, all this whiskey around here. He said, now look at us sitting here together. That was my dad and my brother and I. He said, we're the fragile piece of this thing. He said, because uh, we're not going to always be around. He said, if you are blessed enough to have a good bottle of bourbon, or a bottle of wine for that matter, he said, it's far better to have the memories that the bottle creates than to know the memories never got created because you were too busy trying to save it or you didn't like the way somebody drank it.